So, Jezefino, you've been summoned here today to court for not being your usual murderous, ravenous self. It has been five months and you have not slain but a single fiend or human being, even a little kitten the size of a shoe. You've just been sitting there, doing whatever you've been doing, but you have slain nothing. You have murdered nothing. So we are trying right now to convict you of being a pussy. How do you plea, Josephina? I don't know what you're talking about. I've tried, okay? I've tried. Last week, I came across a man in the park. He was there reading a book. I came up to him with my knife and I looked into his eyes and I just felt like I, I couldn't, I couldn't take I couldn't take this man's life away. He was reading Hitchhiker's Guide for the Galaxy. Anyone that has such wit, such levels of depth to appreciate someone of the caliber of Douglas Adams, I, I couldn't take that away. I couldn't take that out of existence. So you are guilty of being a pussy then. Just as I thought. You see, it doesn't matter of the caliber of a man or a woman. It doesn't matter what books you read. It doesn't matter of the look in one's eye. At the end of the day, you are a murderer. Josephina, you are here to murder. You are here to dish out pain. If you do not, then you are failing to exact your cause. You are failing to fulfill your duty. And you are being a pussy. How do you plea on counts of being a pussy? Huh? I plea on having a heart, okay? I have a heart. I care. Sure, I used to slaughter people without a thought. Here and there I'd slash one's face off. Or, or cut off their feet and wear them as substitute shoes. Now, I think these feet belong to somebody. Because I am wearing these shoes right now, that man can no longer walk from A to B. He's got to roll. He's got to roll. And it's just not fair. <laughs> well, this is obviously where you have gone wrong then, my friend. We are not here to care. We are not here to think, ooh, what are the effects of that we are having on this person's life? You are here to derive pleasure sadistically from other people's pain. Okay? If you do not do that, if you cannot step on top of somebody and use them to shoot yourself up into the grand sphere of awesomeness and wickedness. Then you are not doing what you are meant to be doing here in this economy. Here it is a doggy dog world. Okay? Here there is no remorse. If we want the system to keep moving forward as triumphantly as it has at all time, we cannot handle little pussies like you. We need somebody with balls. Not a heart, but balls. Somebody that is willing to make a choice without the heart even entering the equation. Somebody that is willing to use their head to deliberate and determine and execute one clean, crisp, clean, crisp swipe. Bam! That execution that we all need. In the day, People live, people die, but what makes a difference is how we go about insisting these transitory processes. You, Josefina, 
a disgrace you, Josephina, will not do for the kind of world we are building for the future. Oh, okay, I plead, I plead guilty, guilty of being a pussy, guilty of being a pussy who cares, a pussy who, who realizes that we all have feelings, that we all have our own significance in life that isn't and cannot be justified to just end all that just for some, the measure of some malevolent, brutal, remorseless system. I don't want to push the economy forward. I don't want to slaughter and ravage and rape and destroy. I want to heal. I want to nourish. I want to bring a smile to the face of all those that need. I care. And if I am guilty for caring, then so be it. I plead guilty. Lock me up. Throw away the key. I will die with a rose in my mouth and a lotus in my heart. Well, that is a damn shame, Josephina. Because you made a pretty damn good murderer and horror film superstar. And now... Somebody else is just going to have to take your place. I'm going to have to convict you guilty. A douche. Of being a pussy. Meanwhile. On to the next case.